But every time during an election or sometime around that time, you can find a politically charged program that'll get us out of our emotions. And y'all don't even realize you're being played. More examples. Ava DuVernay, watch this person, folks. You have to watch people like Ava DuVernay. Just like they look, just, just because they look like us, they're not for us. Central Park Five, Netflix Miseries announces all star cast. Do you know that this was conveniently, conveniently released in March of 2019 to get, to get what? To get racial division stoked leading up to showing Trump is racist and all these things, George Floyd and all these things, so that they could get the emotional outcome they needed. You think they care about five black guys that got locked up or, uh, you know, you know, that got locked up unjustly and there's some justice. Why are these things politically convenient in a time of politics know what politically charged programming is folks and there's no people that, that that are more emotionally driven and who can be controlled by emotions than our people you get no currency or policy being emotional. Next, here we go again. I'm going to show you how it looks again. This is how it looks again, y'all. I'm, I'm teaching y'all something right now. Teal. The Emmett Teal story. And conveniently, it's not a face of Emmett Till there. It's the new progression pushing the matriarchy over the black man. Same narrative. Making black women the hero. In 1955, after Emmett Till is murdered. Oh, here it is. We got a quasi same feeling of George Floyd coming out in October, right before it's time for us to make decisions right, politically for ourselves going forward, right? Vows to expose the racism behind the attack while working to have those involved brought to justice. No justice, no peace. No voting, no... Same cadence. The question, brothers and sisters, are we as foolish or are you as ill-informed as they think you are? Is the question. Wake up. Now, some people might ask, well, Elder Rikashiar, you are a Bible man, right? What should we remember? The Bible tells us, remember what Amalek did unto thee, by the way. When you were, when we can't, when we when we were come out of Egypt, how he met thee by the way, and smote the hindmost of thee, even all that were feeble behind thee, when thou was faint and weary, and he feared not God. Therefore, it shall be when the Lord thy God hath given thee rest from all thine enemies round about. In the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance to, to possess it. That thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And thou shalt not forget it. God tells us in the Bible to remember Amalek. Hence the reason the Bible is so important. Well, suppose Amalek is in a political position over the earth, financial and otherwise, to target us without us even knowing they are Amalek. 
Amalek does the same thing over and over. Okay. He's too cowardly to face the men. So he prey on the weak first before engaging the men. Amalek, when we came out of Egypt, knew that we had our armies in front and he came behind the caravan and start killing the elderly people. Hmm. Sound familiar? Does that sound familiar? Elderly people. And then after that, he started char targeting the women and the children. See, the Bible actually give us an insight on their political agendas and how Amalek rolls. The Bible tells us, Deuteronomy 32 and 7, remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. We must remember the days of old. The days of our forefathers. The days of the prophets. The days of the, of the kings. David. See, the days when Israel once was united as one nation before the curse. Folks, understand how politics work. Okay. Quid pro quo. You never go into any process unless someone is giving you something right there, right now. Don't ever go into it. Never go on a promise. Everyone else that's out there triggering us emotionally to go out there are getting something for doing so. We Let's forget the past like they want us to, folks. When they bring up Emmett Till, when they bring up all these others and people hung on trees... Tell them, listen, that happened in the past. Unless you're going to give me something for, re for remembering that. <laughs> because I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to a kingdom. So what are you going to give me for remembering what you told, what you keep telling us to forget? The Bible. Is it hard to understand? when it comes to reading the Bible. The first thing that comes to mind is the fact that this is the word of God. The seals have been broken and the truth is here. And when we go throughout the scriptures, when we go throughout extra biblical records, we find that the language that God employed, that he used to create the heavens and the earth was the Hebrew language. Christ said, I came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, but yet no one, no religious leader, no religious church out there anywhere can now identify the 12 tribes of Israel. Can we? God is quite simple, but it seems as if man makes understanding him hard. What are those mysteries? The truth of your book. And the truth will make you free. The Hebrew and Bible Academy, you're invited.